So the first thing that I'm going to go through is getting this engine set up for running for the year. And I got a couple of things that I like to do every spring after it sits. Um, the first is actually setting up the dual carbs. And I know that I probably need to do some jetting and tuning on them, but that's completely a waste of time if they're not synchronized. So that's what we're going to be doing today. To start out with getting them synchronized, um, you have to warm up the engine. If the engine's cold, you're completely wasting your time. And I should say that this is the procedure that I go through and have had pretty good luck with. If anyone has any suggestions or better ways to do this, please leave a comment. I'm always looking for a better way to do something. So the engine has been warmed up. I did that already. And what I did is I disconnected the linkage here so that the carburetors will operate independently of each other. After I've got that done, I usually like to go through and take some WD-40, actually, and I spray it around the base of the carburetors because in the past I found that the seals can wear out and you'll get intake leaks and you'll chase your tail trying to sink the carburetors when you have an intake leak. I'll do that real quick. I'm going to start up the car. Basically, you spray around the bottoms of the intakes or anywhere else you think there might be a leak. And if you hear a change in RPMs, it means that it's plugging up the hole that's drawing in the air with the WD-40 and you have a leak and need to address it. I didn't hear any leaks, so I'm going to assume that my intakes are still sealed pretty well. I didn't hear any changes when I sprayed it, so I'm going to move forward. Tool that I use to sink them, I use one of these, I think it's a snail they call it, or it's been nicknamed that. There's different style synchronizers. I like these because these are 48 IDF Webers. and. They fit right into the barrel very nicely, or if you have velocity stacks, they'll also fit on there very nicely. So what I'm going to do is start it up, and I'm going to put the synchronizer in this barrel in the front, or I should say in the back here, and over here, and take a reading off of it. If nothing has changed since last year, I shouldn't have to adjust anything. I was getting just over four on both of them for a reading, 
If they were out of adjustment, I would adjust this screw right here and turning it in will open up the butterfly more. You should pretty much get instant adjustment and see a change as soon as you start turning this. Like a quarter turn is normally all you need to. If you're having to turn it more than that, you probably have an intake leak or have something else, an issue going on in the engine. The next step is the idle air adjustment. That's on these screws. There's one on each barrel. If you're just installing a set, I believe it's, they tell you to turn them all the way in and then turn them one and a half turns back. Since this has already been running pretty decent, I'm going to just turn them in a quarter turn until I hear it miss and then you back it back to the place where it was running good. So I'm hoping you'll be able to hear it on the video, but you actually go to each cylinder. Go in until a quarter turn at a time until you hear the miss and then back it out one quarter turn back to where it's running. What you're trying to do is you're actually leaning it out as far as you can without causing a miss. Once you get the miss, you go back to the setting where it was running good. So my number one cylinder back there, I ended up having to turn it about a quarter turn further in than where it was currently set. All the other ones were basically in the same place. Once we finish that, we reconnect the linkage.
this is a very important part. With your linkage reconnected, you need to look. You want to make sure that both of your, your stops are actually up against here. You don't want them to have any gap on either side. And the other thing that you need to do, and you're not going to probably be able to see it, is you're going to actually have to activate the throttle just a little bit and make sure that they both open at exactly the same time. Number one problem that I've had and that I hear a lot of people have had um, with these carburetors is linkage issues. If you go through all the steps that I just did and have them perfectly synced, but this rod is what's adjustable. If they're not opening and closing together, it's adjustable on both sides. You loosen the nuts and then you screw it in or out and it'll open one or the other carburetor further. You can have them perfectly synced and when you hook up the linkage, the second you touch the throttle, one of the carburetors will open first and it'll put them all out of sync. So, I just have to reconnect my throttle cable which I had disconnected for a different reason. And that's actually a little too tight because it's hanging up. So if I have everything hooked up correctly, I have to put my air cleaners back on. I should have everything synced up and ready to go for the year. Hopefully you found this useful, and as I said, if you have any better procedures for doing this, please let me know, and thanks for watching.